Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a super cool card. This came all the way to me from Gail Davidson in Australia. <laughs> wow, right? This is what's called a shutter card. And she has a really cool magnetic enclosure that I'm also gonna show you how to do really really awesome card and she made this fantastic matching envelope that I'm gonna show you how to make as well now Gail designed this card but she was inspired by my friend France Martin you might know her as Frenchie <laughs> and the ironic part about this is that today while I am sharing this video I am also on vacation with Frenchie so I thought she'd appreciate my little case of a case of one of her cards very fun circle there and today's also my 13 year anniversary with Stampin Up wow right <laughs> can't believe it's been such a wild ride and so many fantabulous experiences with this amazing company including meeting so many of you guys both here on youtube on my blog and in person okay enough about all that let's get started with this super cool card and here is our beautiful card up close and it was just so cool to get a card from australia in the mail Look at her beautiful envelope. I'm actually gonna show you how to make this beautiful envelope as well as how to make this super cool shutter card that Gail made and the little trick she did here with the magnetic enclosure. Excellent. So we're gonna start by making our card. I'm gonna be using the Simply Score tool from Stampin' Up. We'll also be using the Endless Thanks stamp set and two framelits, which are the banners and the detail floral. All of these supplies and all of these measurements which are gonna be very important when you're making this cool shutter card, are available on my stampwithtammy.com blog simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the YouTube description below. We'll be starting with the Simply Score tool. We're gonna to score at two and one eighths and six and three eighths. And that gives us a perfect center fold card. Big Shot die cut machine, magnetic platform, and one cutting pad down. Can actually do both of these at the same time. There are two sheets of white cardstock that we're going to cut a banner tail into. We'll be using the largest banner framelit from the banners. Just line that up on top, put one cutting pad on top, and crank it through. And that's going to give us our two inside pieces. Put those aside for just a minute. All right, next we are going to be using the detailed floral framelits and for that we're taking the big shot platform and thin die adapter that come with it and the precision base plate this acts as a cutting pad it's excellent when you're using these detailed dies now for the two navy pieces and the envelope we're going to use this we do need to do these one side at a time but they they both get done exactly the same just line it up right exactly in the center put one cutting pad on top and crank it through Okay, next I'm just gonna bring in my Big Shot die brush and we're just gonna run that right over the top. And all those pieces should pop right out. This is actually a wood mount storage case, a half case that Stampin' Up! sells. Keeps all the pieces in one place, kinda convenient. And I'll put that information on my blog post too if you're interested. We're gonna repeat the exact same thing with the other side of the Knight of Navy. And while we have it out, we're going to repeat one more time with the top of our envelope. Okay, so I've opened up the envelope. We're just going to lay it flat on the Big Shot on the precision plate exactly like we did with the Knight of Navy. Place a cutting pad on top and crank it through. And then we'll just use the die brush again just to poke that, poke that out. And so our envelope looks like this. And then we'll do the backing sheet out of vellum cardstock. So I've got a little vellum cardstock. The measurements are on my blog. And we're just going to take this little edgelet that's also in the detailed floral thinlets to edge it for our finishing touch and just run that back through. And so that is what that looks like when it's done, which is really cool. So you can use whichever adhesive you like here. I'm just going to take a tiny little bit of snail adhesive around some of these edges here just to hold the vellum down. And that is how you do the envelope. And we'll just put that aside while we finish up our card. One more little piece of Big Shot work before we put that away. I'm gonna attach the designer paper to the 
to the Knight of Navy strip with some snail adhesive. This is the strip that's going to be on the inside. And we're gonna to wanna to cut this circle. Okay, for this we're bringing back the magnetic platform. We're gonna take the third largest layering circles die, so the third largest of the circles, and place that right smack dab in the middle with a cutting pad on top and bottom and crank it through. And that gives us our circle little window that we're gonna have our shutter view through. Okay, I'm gonna line that up in the center of our card. And from the Endless Thanks stamp set, I've got two stamps on one block here. It's the thank you so much together. I'm gonna ink that in some Knight of Navy. I haven't actually attached this blue panel yet in case I don't like what I stamped. And I do like what I stamped very much. <laughs> so now we can go ahead and attach that. And we'll take some snail adhesive for the top. No, we're not using snail. My bad. We're using Stampin' Dimensionals. So silly. Have you ever done that? <laughs> Come on, guys. Don't leave me hanging. I can't be the only one. Okay, so Stampin' Dimensionals are going to pop this up a little bit. And I'm going to layer that right. Boom. Right in the center. And we can also go ahead and attach these two panels to the outside front. Now you can use whatever adhesive is your fave. You know me, I like my snail. Okay, now we're ready to make our inside panels. Now we wanna cut these two banner pieces to three and a half inches. So we'll just place them on the paper cutter put the points right at the three and a half inch mark and trim off any excess. And yes, I'm doing them both at the same time. Now the next thing we want to do, you need to do one at a time. And that's score. And we're going to score it a half inch in. Now the scoring, whoops, move it down so you can see. The scoring blade here is the lighter blade. So the cutter is the dark blade, the scoring is the lighter blade. And what that's going to do is create a nice crisp score line at the half inch mark on both of them. And they're gonna attach on these two wings or flaps like so, but you wanna line them up first so you can see that they're going to work perfectly. You don't want them kind of askew. So, so I'm just using snail because I'm on the video here, but I do recommend maybe using some tear and tape adhesive or fast fuse for this part because these are moving parts. Just line that up in the center. So you can kind of kind of get an idea of how they're going to open and then you can just tuck them underneath like so. And that is our really cool shutter card. Okay, so now for the finishing touch, the magnetic dots. So these are um, two strips of the designer paper here. Measurements are on the free PDF on my blog. I'm just folding them in half. And here's the magic. These are small magnetic discs. They're like buttons from Basic Gray. I got them online and I will um, put their information in the blog post as well. So they're actually, there's a, there's, 10 sets, so 20 in all, a positive and a minus. And when you pop them out, I just want to show you how super thin these are. And they're peel and stick, which is fantastic. So they just go right in the center, one each of these little enclosure tabs. Okay, now I've got some mini glue dots that I'm using for the rest of this. Um, I'm going to stick one in the center of each of these tabs just to hold them closed. So we've got two tabs here and they want to be together. So <laughs> they're what's gonna keep this together. So then I just took a mini glue dot on the front and back of each tab and then I tucked it underneath. And you may find that you wanna trim the designer paper a little bit depending on where it hits the, the pattern of the, the the floral pattern, totally up to you. So front and back, just make sure that you're, you're attaching it the right way. 
because they they repel if you put them the opposite way. So you want to put them the way that they they are attracted to each other and not the way that they repel. And our card is complete along with a beautiful envelope for it. So amazingly awesome. Thanks again to Gail Davidson in Australia, who was amazing, not only for participating in the Crazy Crafters blog hop that they had invited me to attend, but for sending me this amazing card that I couldn't wait to duplicate and share with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you have fun making it and playing with this shutter card idea. Be sure to visit my blog for the free PDF, the measurements, and all the information you need on the card. And while you're there, sign up for my newsletter because I send out free card tutorials every Tuesday. Thanks for joining me today.